you know, something we've mentioned a few times, but it's this concept of the reference frame uh, that Monty is leveraging both when it learns about an object and then also when it's trying to recognize it. Uh, and what that enables is it to kind of understand the object by moving over it and kind of seeing how this global shape of the object matches at the time it's trying to recognize it with the time that it learned it. And so it's very similar uh, to how we believe uh, the kind of human brain is solving object rec recognition. And it means that the shape, the kind of global shape of the object is first and foremost, the most important thing. Um, and so, you know, a, a simple example is something like a heart, uh, you know, the, the kind of emoji type heart symbol. This is something that it's very much defined by its shape. You know, it's typically red, but it's not always red. It can be any color uh, and it could also be covered kind of in any texture. Um, but of course, if you took that heart symbol and you started kind of moving all the, the, the kind of edges on it and kind of scrambled it, eventually it might turn into like a circle or a cloud or something like that. Um, basically, Monty is using that kind of reference frame to, to really pick up on that shape. And that means the only thing that will really disrupt Monty's ability to recognize it is if you destroy that shape. And if you destroy the shape, you destroy the, the kind of class of the object from the point of view of a human as well. Um, and so the kind of only type of uh, kind of noise that Monty would not be robust to isn't really uh, kind of noise we're concerned about. 